happy Easter. It's Sunday, April 20th. Um, and today I'm going to talk about the topic, Sunday topic video, is about meanings of colors. Um, now, there are some links that I'm going to refer to and I'm going to put them in the uh, description below, so don't forget to check those out as usual. Um, so according to Empower Yourself, um, Empower Yourself with Color, psychology.com, um, colors, colors are a form of nonverbal communication. Quote, it is not static energy and its meaning can change, wait, it's not static energy and its meaning can change from one day to the next with any individual. And they're talking about colors. And on that site there also is a whole list which I'm going to also put on the blog post. I make a chart with it, um, from it. And you can check it out if you want to see the chart. It's of colors and their meaning in a psychological way. For example, orange is social communication and optimism, and there's more to it. It's just, those are just some of the, like, it's, it's just like a brief, so not like a small little part of it. Um, so that's an example of that. And then according to colormatters.com, there are several things that influence the symbolism of colors. Sorry. Um, number one is shade, or the variation of a color. So dark and light shades, quote, this is a quote, dark and light shades of any color convey completely different meanings, close quote. Number two, the quantity and placement of the color. Most powerful symbolism is you is 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 the it's most the most there's more symbolism or it's most powerful symbolism when used in larger areas or large areas. Number three, shape or object uh, object the color occupies. So the symbol becomes more complex. Symbolism becomes more complex when a color is used in combination with a basic shape. And four, color combinations. So quote colors take on a new meaning when combined with other colors." Close quote. Also, according to the same website, colormatters.com, color conveys meaning in two ways, natural and international associations and psychological symbolism. An example would be a soft, sh and this is from the site too, a soft shade of blue triggers associations with the sky and a psychological sense of calm. Um, and then on colormatters.com they go through their colors and I'm going to do this and I'm going to read the color and a few things about it. So first we're going to do, but you can also find this on the website, um, is red. And it's the color of extremes. And it's passionate love, seduction, violence, danger, anger, and adventure. Also, it's a magical and religious color. The global meetings, one of two favorite colors of all people, international color of Oh, it's one of the two favorite colors of all people. It's the international color of the stop, or of stop, like a stop sign. Um, and the most color, it's actually the most popular color used in flags, or on flags in the world, throughout the world. Um, and it captures attention. In Russia, the word, this is a unique fact, the, in Russia, the word for red means beautiful. Um, and I'm just going to do red, actually, because there's lots of colors. Um, um, and my favorite color is actually purple, but I'm not going to go over that one still. Um, so, I'm going to put those links and that information in a blog post as well. Um, my question for you is, what is your favorite color and why? And what does it symbolize for you or mean to you? Um, besides it being your favorite color. So don't forget to like, like, comment down below, um, and subscribe for more if you like what you see. See you next week for next Sunday's video. Bye! My name is Carolyn Holland. I am 21 years old. I am vlogging, or I decided to do a channel, because I saw a lot of people doing it and it looked interesting and cool and fun. And I also always have wanted to keep a journal, but I was never very good at it, or I always forgot about it. And to, for some reason, online, I keep remembered. It, I, it's easier for me to remember to do it when it's online, and also I use a, I like going on a computer and using computers, so that added to it. Also, I just kind of, so this is kind of like my online journal. It's not necessarily that necessarily as personal, but pretty much it's an online journal. So hope you all enjoy. See ya.